welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another dupe slash comparison video for you guys. I am going to be comparing the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette with the Royals Bad Habit palette from Shop Hush. And I put these to the battle and I think it went so well. Let's see if you guys know for the video which side is which. And I want to know what do you guys think before you see the rest of the video. What side do you think is the ABH side and what do you think is the shop hush side let me know down below comment right now and it went really well so if you guys want to see how these two battled it out then please keep watching so i already have some foundation on and i have my brows done i have set and primed my eyelids now i'm going to jump in to these two palettes the modern renaissance and the royals palette from bad habit and i'm going to do abh on this side the entire time and then royals on this side and let me just show you what the palettes look like together they're really similar the colors are probably just like mixed differently of course you don't want to do it completely the same so there is some difference but these are the two colors the top one is the royals and the bottom one here is the abh but look how similar the color story is and they both look really really nice so let's swatch some of the royals. Swatch this pink one. Ooh, this brown. Let's do the shimmer shade. And let's do this honor color. So they are pretty pigmented. Look at that. They seem very nice. So I'm going to get the same colors on this hand of the ABH that are the duplicates of the royals. So this is the ABH and this is the royals hand. So look how similar those are like ridiculously similar so yeah let's jump right in and see how good the royals palette is on the eyes compared to the abh one because i really love the modern renaissance i think this was probably one of my favorite ones and i think this is one of the palettes that i've actually used every single color in and i really like it so i'm first gonna jump into burnt orange right here this one this does have quite a bit of fallout but it doesn't really ever bother me. So I'm just going to blend this in my crease and fluff it all in there. So just like that. Then I'm going to go in this eye with what is the same color. I think it's air, which is the correspondent color in the Royals palette. So this one doesn't have as much fallout. And I'm just going to blend this in the crease, see what the color payoff is. It's uh, pretty good. Of course, I'm going to have to build it up not going to have the same pigmentation as the ABH one, but so far the color matches pretty well. So let's go in on the ABH palette. I'm going to get a little bit of Love Letter, this pink shade right here, and I'm going to get just the tiny bit because I know this has a lot of uh, fallout, but I'm going to place this on the outer corner and blend it up into the crease. That, I wonder if you guys can see it. Sorry if the brightness is too high. I'm going to go now in with the color Majestic, which is this one in the Royals palette. And I'm going to put that in my crease as well and blend it upwards. I noticed that the Royals palette has less fallout than the ABH one, but it also I have to build it up a little bit more than the ABH one. I don't know, they're pretty good though. It, like, Look at this pink shade, it's matching really well to the ABH one. Now I'm going to deepen up the look using Antique Bronze, this one right here. And I'm going to go in with a tapered blending brush and deepen it all over. So I'm basically just going over that pink shade. But the pink at least gave me a transition shade. Then I'm also gonna go in with Citrus Umber in the ABH one. I'm going to put this on the outer corner. I have noticed that with the ABH palette, I have to blend more. Maybe because it's more pigmented and it has a good color payoff, but because of that, I have to blend more than this side. So let's test it out on this side with the dark colors. Then I'm going to go in with Honor, which is similar to Antique Bronze. It's probably a little bit lighter. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Kind of put this all over the pink and blend it inward and just deepen up the whole look. I already have to dig in into the color to give me some color payoff into the honor color. And I see that it's going more uh, pink than like a bronze. 
Then I'm going to go in with Grant, which is the same color I used, Citrus Umber. Citrus Umber, so this is a similar one. I'm going to go in with Grant and put that on the outer corner to deepen it up. Now it's probably when I can tell a little bit of a difference. That honor color was a little bit more pink than the, uh, what was it called? Than the antique bronze on this side. But nonetheless, it's still pigmented and the colors are still blendable. My lights kind of like mute out the color, so I'm sorry. In person, they are pretty deep and they look really similar. And I don't have too much fallout, none on the ABH side. I have some underneath here. Good thing I haven't put concealer on, so I can just fix that up. Now I'm going to test out the shimmer shades, and this is probably one of my favorite shades in the ABH palette. It's Primavera. I love Primavera, so I'm going to put this on the lid. I'm going to pack it on the lid, and I've never had to use a fix plus or anything to make this color brighter because it's bright on its own. Then I'm going to go in with that citrus umber and just blend out those edges. Then on this side, I'm going to go in with Crown, which is the dupe for Primavera, and I'm going to pack it on on this side. It looks really nice. It's more of an icy color when on here it looks more gold like a champagne. So that's a little bit different. And I would have thought the color Queen was more icy because on here it looks really icy. So I can tell the difference in the shimmers. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it literally gives great pigmentation as you can see. And I didn't have a problem with it not showing up. And now I'm going to just blend out those edges with Grand. So I'm just going to put concealer on and I'll be right back to finish my under eye. Okay, I finished my under eye and I put some Hoola bronzer and some NARS bronzer. As always, now I'm going to finish my under eye and I'm going to go in with Antique Bronze. I'm going to smoke that on my lower lash line. As always, i got to smoke it out. So Antique Bronze on this side. Just like that, I'm gonna get a little bit of burnt orange and just smoke out those edges, just so it's not so crazy. Then on this side, I'm gonna go in with Honor, this one, and smoke it out on this side. Honestly, I think if you want to save your money and get a dupe for the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, try the Royals palette. It literally has looked so good and I'm going to do a close-up just in a minute just so you guys can see how awesome the color payoff is and I'm going to get air and just like the burnt orange I'm going to smoke out those edges um, I'm going to put some Essence Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara Tati said she loves this one I think this is the one she said and I finally found it in an Ulta so I'm going to try it out see how it works this one reminds me of my Bobbi Brown one. Oh my gosh, this works so good. Let's try my Bobbi Brown on this eye, just so now i got another comparison. Because my Bobbi Brown is so good. And I'm just waiting until I use the ultimate last drop of this mascara so I can buy the full size, because the full size is like $30. But if this one is the same, which so far it literally looks like it's the same, might not even buy it because I'd rather pay five dollars than thirty dollars for a mascara. You know what I mean? Yeah, they literally look the same. So if you want a dupe for the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara, which I literally love, try the Volume Stylist. It does the same exact thing. So let me just zoom you in real quick. So this is the completed look. Look how similar these looks are, and the palette works really well. I really like the Royals as a dupe, like. Yes, and honestly, I say give it a try. This one worked really well, and all the other colors. Let's swatch some other ones just in case. Like, look at that. Look how pigmented those colors are. So that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed these palettes. Worked so wonderful. Of course, the ABH is gonna work so great. The Modern Renaissance is one of my favorite palettes, and the Royals did just as good, and it is a fraction of the cost. And this one is only $10, while this one is, I believe, $42. Pretty sure all the other palettes from Anastasia are $40 something. And for $10, this one worked just as good. And if you guys are trying to save some money, I say give it a shot. And it's actually in stock for you guys. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave the links down below. 
and thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye